Hello, and welcome back to the dog bot. Yep, we're playing Hidden Hands again, and I finally got these guys out of my way. So, yeah. No jumping into venomous pits for me. Such an entertaining tale. Also horrifying. Let's see what we have here. The Book of Averil. I, I'm glad I found it at the very least. The Hammer of Leroy. Sure. Sigil of Cassandra. Why am I picking these up? The Scepter of Discipline. Our archivist found the following artifacts in our Hall of Relics facility in Bridgeport. The Book of Praise by St. Avril, St. Le Leroy's Hammer. As in Leroy Jenkins? God damn it. The sh Sigil. Sigil? Sigil. 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 Sigil of Destiny of St. Cassandra. According to the records from the Braden Central Library, these artifacts are once were once used to gain access to the scepters for self-control. The very scepter that our ancestors once ventured and adored with great fervor. Oh, that would fill my heart with infinite cheer if I found the scepter, Hendrik. Interesting. Don't mind if... But Thank you. Do! Is this an order? Uh, let's see here. So, Cassandra goes first. That's not what I meant to do. Uh, Cassandra, something, then the hammer. So we actually do know the combination. I'll probably have to come back here. And that is a very nice mask you have there, sir. It's Edmunds. Some Skizzers and Nicodemus. I can have one of them. Uh, Edmund. Probably have to go to Nicodemus's um, office to get his. Comrade Bromley, I trust your identity as Brother Edmund. What a sonorous name that is. Has not been compromised since you're, you have finally gained access to the Knights Underwater Station? Now, however, it is time to fulfill Operation Broken Hammer. Find a suitable electric item to supply the enclosed explosive ordnance with the required power. The visible me mechanical parts of the item in question may start to behave differently as soon as you have installed the ordnance. Be sure to utilize any electrical device that does not draw the attention of the builders. Your predecessor successfully equipped the airlock housing with motion sensors. Oh. If you want to double check the doors of the airlock, you can use the code 62, hopefully 9, maybe 4, to gain entry to the relevant area. After you have armed the system, the next builder to enter that the airlock will. can't be true. Who would I hope thought not. that this crazy Gilbert guy was right? Exactly. The enter the airlock will activate the device. Be sure to extract yourself long before then. So we acted crazy to get 86 out of here. Good hunting, Hadley. P.S. Burn this after reading. You do not want to end up like Comrade Knox when he attempted to infiltrate the Builders Institute of Grammatical Science... Grammatical science Sciences? What? <laughs> Okay, there's a bomb on the station. That's not good. S-A-S. -S. Okay. I do not know what these guys have been doing. Hops. Add the hops now. Scanner book. The excavation last week uncovered several interesting artifacts. The most promising of which is a weathered scroll that seems to include a notation for a yet unidentified area of the citadel. The new surface analyzing system, or SAS, can be used to create a scaled-down copy of the source document and enhance the quality of the worn-out imprint. Thus, the following steps are needed to be carried out. Activate the radiological green red light scanner. Trigger the button initiate pre-treatment pre pre I can't read. With ozonized vapors. Ozonized? Sure. Press the mechanical button to initiate the rotation of the object for optimum analysis. When all of the above steps have been carried out in the correct order, the high over 
The high overview plotting system will produce an accurate copy of the source medium. To what are we doing? So green red light scanner. What? Weathered map. Uh, do we put this in the SAS? I don't know what it wants me to do. Those are more human remains. All right, so I can't use it. So we have the weathered map. Don't have a scroll. Are they talking about the weathered map? Okay, that does that does highlight, but I can't put this in there. All right, let's go to Nicodemus's um, office and see what we can find in there, because there's nothing I can do with this right now. Also, we have to defuse a bomb. Should be easy enough, right? Nicodemus! I presume. What doth stir there? Nothing. Metal chest key. All right, sorry, Nicodemus, but I want to look around. Keep come. Why can I not drag you? There we go. Well, hopefully he wasn't going to say anything, but metal clangies. So yeah, about that. All right, what do you have? Map of Citadel. Well, we've got a map. What the fuck? I have to take that, thank you. Very kind of you. Were you perhaps looking oh. over this scroll? Note from Nicodemus. Jonas, I highly doubt that our second sea hopper is currently suitable for operation. After his first Deep Lake expedition, it took us near an hour to help Brother Fulton out of the cockpit. Don't get me wrong, I still have the utmost faith that the machine's design is perfectly suited for our needs. However, the issue is that Brother Fulton suffered from a claustrophobic attack in such a haze he damaged the hopper's control system. As such, would you be so kind as to carry out a full systems check once you come down again? In the meantime, I have changed the access code 736 to the respective dry dock in order to prevent some of, the more rec some of our more reckless brothers from engaging in behavior unbefit to those of their station. Thank you, Nicodemus. P.S. I think the name Sea Harper has pagan-like connotations that are not reflective of the values that our order represents. Therefore, we are discussing more suitable alternatives such as the Sea Hammer or the Stone Boat. Stone Boat, you say? How about you just number it? Get real scientific up in there. All right, he has. A, well, there we go. Metal chest. Is that? A gas arrow, nice. Why do you have a gas arrow, sir? Hmm. Well, it's been fun, but I'm gonna go now. I really wish I could use this. You got so many interesting looking things and I want to play with them. Yay, more lanterns. Exactly what I need as a thief. Um, so this is the dry dock, I'm assuming. Why would you leave the lanterns on? Such a waste of resources. Okay. I just see that smacking into the glass. The lights turn on. Okay. Cool. Uh, note from Nicodemus. What was it again? 736. Gotcha, Nicodemus. 
three and slats. There we go. I can't really get in there. I don't think. Oh, I can't come over here. Uh, we've got more fuses. These ones I can't pick up. I'm trying to get that water arrow. And the moss arrow. Okay. Why did I ever pick up the, um, the fuse, though? Wasn't able to use it. All right, this is going to go up to the airlock, so I need to be careful here. Let's save. Um, one of these notes has the code in it, right? No. Here we go, 624, 629, 6, 2, I think it's 9. I didn't go past it, I apologize. I can't enter the airlock until I find the bomb. Yeah, exactly. Um, I said something about an electrical device. Try to use one that an electrical device that um that the they would not notice that we, they were using. It's open, but I can't go in. All right, the only area I can think where there was like arcing electricity and stuff like that was also where are these operatives from. Are they a rival faction to the Builders? They're, they seem to be far too advanced to be Pagans. Maybe I am mistaken. Thankfully, since everybody has knocked the flock out... I can run back. There's electricity right there, but people come in here all the time. Well, people come in here, too. I thought I saw electricity in here. Maybe I'm wrong. So I'm looking for a bomb. What would a bomb look like? I don't know how any of this works, so how the fuck would I know? Yeah, this looks more like a boiler. Hmm. Yeah, and the person in here would know what everything looks like, so... <sighs> See, I don't know what's out of place, that's the problem. This is the only thing that's arcing. But I'm sure there's other things that take electricity, because we have fucking lights here. Bomb's not in here, is it? understand what that does. Some books down there. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> An arrow.
Definitely not a bomb. Hmm. Where the hell could the bomb be? Uh, I also never got to... I also can't get in these. Um, I never got into Nicodemus's. Can I pick this? I can't, okay. Damn it. I thought it might be simple. Hello? There we go. I'm glad I unlocked this. All right, let's try to activate this since we're here. Uh, destruction note? No, that's the one with the thing in the thing. Note for investigation. Scanner book, that's where it is. Dummy, yes. So, LVR. I can't even touch them. Okay, um... Honestly, have no idea what to do here. We have this weathered map. Can I just drop it in there? L B R. Oh yeah, you just dropped in there. I, it probably would have been better to place it in there because I had no idea if I was supposed to do that or not. Map of quarters. Uh, this doesn't help us. I mean, it might later, but there's still a bomb somewhere. All right, let's reread the uh, obstruction route. Find a suitable electric item to supply the enclosed explosive ordnance with the required power. Visible mechanical parts of the item in question may start to behave differently as soon as you have installed the ordinance. Be sure to utilize any electric device that does not draw the attention of the builders. Something that's not behaving correctly? How do I know if something's behaving correctly? That's the thing. How the hell would I know that? It let me come in here, and I needed a code for this. But why would I do so? I can also climb up it. I don't think the bottom works properly. <laughs> Got some Z fighting on the uh, on the underside there. Looks cool. Give you that. I don't think it's in here. There is a bomb somewhere, and that's all we know. There's not really anything electric in here besides the frickin' 
Um, lights. Oh, I know I can open these. I mean, don't mind if I do. Uh, it looked like there was something in there, but it phased into the drawer. Cool drawers, but I don't know if they work the way that you want them to. Any, like, secrets? Secrets. Hmm. The only thing that seems to be acting strange is that frickin' um, arcing electric thing. Maybe there's something here. Those are just pots. We don't need pots. Yeah. Flickering light or something like that? I don't... This, this piece of machinery doesn't work at all. Yeah, there's not much I can do. I can't really look behind it. Like, yeah, let's save. I'll jump up on top of it. No, well, it's not killing me at the very least. That's always good. Not dying is good. The only stuff I can fuck around with is this. Even then, not much of it. And I have no idea what it does. It's a weird noise. There's that. And that does nothing. I don't understand. Oh, wait. I can push that now. It's like it's playing that. Turns the light on. It's kind of hard to see what I can highlight and push. I'm just spam clicking right now. button because blue light right <sighs> I have no idea I have no idea what I'm doing I don't think any of the notes tell me what to do either shit Well, poking things is fun, I guess. With all that on, does that change anything in here, perhaps? I don't think it does. No, it doesn't. All right, well, I'm not gonna make you guys watch me anymore. I'll be right back. Help. Well, these things are going crazy. I kind of avoided this area because I thought I didn't want to, you know, I didn't want to set anything off. But no, it doesn't seem to be this either. 
I don't understand. Huh. It's the only thing I can see that's not acting properly. Odd. Huh. Well, I'll keep looking. Whoa. Wait, why can I open that? Is, oh, is there, for every fan area, is there, aha, I see. Got you. I wonder if I can get the builders to pay me for saving their precious station. If not, I guess I can always give it back to them. Yeah, it might be good to keep it. All right, so we are good to go then. All right, all right, all right, all right. I was not expecting that. So, out we go. Uh, I hope just removing it's good enough to not blow up the station, you know? That's not really what I want to do. Right, uh, now I can go through the airlock. Oh boy. Hey! It didn't blow up! Ooh, what is this? What in the world is this? So this is the entrance to... the actual entrance to what they were looking for? I thought the original building we saw was their citadel, but from the maps we've gotten, I was obviously wrong. I think we're looking at a lost city, not lost at all, lost city type thing here. Part three, the caves. Very pretty in here, I'll give you that. What do we got here? Oh, Builder, oh, you've tested the most loyal of your servants. Brother Simon and Brother Oswald attempted to open the gate on the other side of the trench when they were suddenly attacked and massacred by several ghastly revenants. It was a gruesome sight to behold, and Brother Harold, observing the drama from the platform above, delved deep into madness. Screaming, he ran over the stone platforms to us on the other side and kept shouting, Oh Builder! Oh Builder! We are doomed! We are doomed! Now our two brothers are on the other side in their own blood, surrounded by these pagan Draugr. We must find a way to defeat these unholy beasts. But how? The four levers on this side of the trench cannot be moved, but I am fairly certain there are answers to the riddle. I read in an old scroll that the builders of the old days used strange firelight creatures to protect the citadel. What if there was a mechanism hidden between the rocks that would activate some sort of self-defense that protects the citadel against intruders? When we return tomorrow, we will need to examine the po this possibility more closely, but now we return to mourn the loss of our beloved brothers. Indeed, the Builder vigilantly tests our faith anew, Hendrik. You, you're thanking your god for killing your people? Seriously? So, hopefully they're right. Okay, I was not expecting that. They all fell through each other. Interesting. Um, so, if they've all left, what is this? It's up to us to find a self-defense system or to slip through and not be killed by the ghastly beings that are in there. Because um, I haven't come this far to get screwed. Uh, I can fall down there. I don't know if I want to do that. All right, we're gonna have to deal with the dark. Bit. It's gold. Oh, hopefully, it's not invisible beasties. All right, I can put a rope arrow there. Oh, it's pottery. We can't do anything with pottery. 
Oh, this mission is going to be quite a bit bigger than I thought, isn't it? Oh, this is so cool. Thank you? Hello? I don't think we're getting through this way. The skeletons are probable, just not their skulls for some odd reason. So, do you mind with scary noises? Did I just wander in? I think I just wandered in. Uh, do it now? Zombies. No zombies? We need to get over to the other side, but it's too bright. Yeah, it's really bright. Um, I don't see anything wood to climb up. All right. Um, where's the hole? There's the hole. Shit, they hurt me. We need to look around here some more. There might be a defensive system, like they said, and if we turn that on, then we're good. It's, that's it. What the heck? I wasn't expecting this. I guess this is where we would have fallen through, somewhere over there. What? It is so strange seeing everything all busted up. I don't know what that did. Door is still locked. I didn't think it would open that, but. All right, if they did something I didn't want, I can always come back. Huh. Yeah, I would have fallen down through there. Can I push this over there? No, but I might be able to just jump from over here and jump up. Yep. Haha. -ha. Ooh. Oh, I thought that was a monster. Okay, uh, this is gonna be so much bigger than I thought it was. We are gonna have to stop recording for now. So hopefully when we come back, there'll be lots of spooks and treasure. But anyways. Hopefully you're enjoying my nonsense. If you did, a like, comment, subscribing, and hitting that bell icon be greatly appreciated. This has been Boy Lag, signing off. You can do oh god! Close the damn door, please! Oh god, it scared the crap out of me! Wasn't expecting that. Come in. I mean, don't come in. <laughs>